All right, and welcome back to another video. We're back to planting corn. We're at the next field and uh, changed my seed to 28,000 seeds per acre. Uh, I'm doing the other half now. We did that half with cotton. Now we're doing this half with corn. Let's get to planting. Let's go take a look outside and see how it's planting. We did just barely pre-water this field, so it's gonna go really nicely into wet ground. At least that's what we're hoping for. Pretty sure it is. Should be really nice and wet. Oh yeah, beautiful wet ground. And there's our corn seed. Yeah, about where I want it. Looks good. Let's continue. And as you can tell, our sandy soil, it's nice and wet. And it, gauge wheels look good. They don't even pack up with the dirt like crazy. They, they stay pretty clean, so. That's actually not bad. Some of these, they're even cleaner, so not bad at all. Let's get to rolling. And it did stop there, and I would use section control, but I like to do a little bit of overlap, especially when I stop in the field. As you can tell, I stop right there. I'll go about just a ways back and then let back down. A little bit of overlap, never killed anyone, especially now with corn. I tell you what though, it's been a crazy year. It's been dry as ever, and yet there's clouds and storms all around us. Pretty much this past month, when everyone else has been getting an inch of rain, two inches of rain, five inches of rain. Uh, there's a town 30, 40 minutes east of us. Just last night, or the previous night anyways, they got almost five inches of rain. They, they got lakes everywhere. Five inches of rain over a couple hours. That's a flash flood if I've ever seen one. That reminds me of a couple of years ago, it was the same thing, but anyways, we haven't been getting much rain. We've been getting like a couple of tents uh, here and there, two tents one time, another tent. The, the one time we got half an inch, but other than that, it's just been a, kind of like a sprinkle here and there. The storm has pretty much been brewing right on top of us, and as it's going east, then everywhere, everyone on that end gets it all. We have just had one section or one part of our fields where a little, a little further north there we got two inches uh, just the other day but that's about the most that we've got uh, which it's still nice we, we appreciated the two inches of rain was very well needed over there but everywhere else you know we would like to get a little more rain too but we, regardless we like the rain that we've been getting even if it is just a tenth or two but just today my I was talking with my brother and he said apparently there are eight storm chasers in our town because apparently it's supposed to get crazy. There's supposed to be hail, wind, tornadoes, you name it. Apparently it's supposed to be everything. Apparently it's supposed to be the whole nine yards. So it's supposed to be crazy. And uh, if there's storm chasers in the area, then something's bound to happen because they don't, they don't just come for nothing. So I'm hoping that we actually get lots of rain now. So I'm also hoping I can get this field planted in time before any rain comes. It, it is nice and cloudy as you can tell. Very nice and cloudy. Hasn't sprinkled yet. It's not starting to rain but I don't know if I'm making a mistake planting and not being able to finish planting till later but hey corn is corn. It'll pretty much comes up with anything. It, it 
it's an easy crop to grow. So I hope I hope uh, I hope we get some rain. But I also hope I can finish this field before all of that. That would be very nice. I'm kind of also kind of curious how crazy this weather's supposed to be if eight storm chasers are in town. Because I don't know. I've seen a tornado once in my life, but it never touched touched down. It only came halfway down, and it was, it was pretty close by, and then it went back up and it was gone. But if we get tornadoes, we're gonna have to definitely, or even hail. Yeah, I have, a, I have my seed, seed tender over there full of corn seed. My brother's barn is close by. If it does start to hail or, or even rain, I'm gonna have to go take that seed tender and park it in his barn, keep it safe, keep all the seeds safe. Uh, I don't actually, I actually don't have anywhere to park this tractor and planter, but I'm pretty sure it should be fine. If, if there is lots of hail, it might get damaged, but I'm hoping it just doesn't hail and hope for the best. But I guess we'll see what happens later. Maybe I'll have to find a shed to park this tractor underneath too. Well, I thought I could do a lot more than 60 acres with the seed I had left in here, but I did 60 acres and I'm out of seed in the middle of the field. Actually, I ran out right there. Like, well, there there was a well there that I had to move out the way anyway, but I had just stopped right there and I had uh, turned off a row where we always drive with the four-wheeler to check up on wells. So then I had what was outside and I looked and I was like, man, I should probably should have checked sooner, but luckily I'm not too far away from the end of the field. I got my seed tender, so I'm gonna quickly fill up some seed. I was hearing some thunder. Uh, looks like it might sprinkle a little bit. So I might have to hurry up a little bit and not get the seed too wet. Well, it looks like I ran out of seed in the perfect time. It started sprinkling. I, uh, I want to do some test seed. I have it right there on the seed tender. I got a couple of extra leftover bags of seed from our other farm. And uh, I was gonna put some of that test seed in these last eight rows right here just to see uh, the difference in yield maybe throughout the year so I just gotta wait I don't want to have the boxes open have it raining inside there so I'll wait it doesn't look like it's gonna be raining a lot I don't even know if I'll be able to continue planting but I guess I'll wait till the rain dies down well it's officially raining we're finally getting a good rain I love it but there's also a tornado warning uh, not watch tornado warning I'm, I believe that's the worst one uh, so I'm gonna, I already brought the seed tanner to my brother's barn, which is literally just like half a mile that way. And uh, I'm gonna hop in my truck. I got my lunch, I never ended up getting a chance to eat it. It's like 1.30 already, but whatever. I'll just uh, head to the barn. The tractor will stay here. All the lids are closed. Uh, seed shouldn't get wet, we should be fine. As long as there's not a tornado. I guess I'll, I'll keep you updated. This is ridiculous! There's hail alright! Well this came out of nowhere! Yeah, it's sure flooding our yard here pretty good. It's such a flash flood, it, it's probably going to be like an inch and a half, give or take. I, I hope it's more than an inch. I like it. it, it hailed a little bit. It looks like all the hail is over, so now it's just raining more. But it didn't look, doesn't look like it hailed enough to do some damage to the cotton. It was a little bit on the, on the ground, but the cotton, you, you have your rows, and I feel like it was so skippy, the, the hail, so I wasn't very big either. I think it'll be fine. I don't think we'll have to replant. Ubri though, uh, go check out his Instagram. Uh, I don't know, he probably hasn't posted any of it, but that dude has had a rough, rough year this year. He, uh, he's gotten hailed out, I think, twice. It's, I feel sorry for that dude. Prayers go out to him. Keep him in your thoughts. He, he's gotten a lot, a lot of hail from all this. And all this, this storm that's barely coming over our farm, it's heading straight for his and it's bringing more hail. So I feel bad for that guy, but. I hope he at least gets more rain. I don't know if he needs it right now. He just got like, like two inches the other day. He probably doesn't need more rain, but he's gonna get more. 
I love it. I'm happy with it. I think the wheat's gonna be fine too. It's a little, yeah, it'll be fine. Well, it stopped raining for the most part, so we're gonna back our trucks out of here. It's actually not hailing at, at all right now. So I'm kind of curious how much it rained everywhere. So I'm gonna to drive around the farm a little bit. And uh, as far as the corn goes, I'm pretty sure I'll have to wait till Monday to plant that. It is uh, currently Friday. Hopefully by Monday it'll be dry enough. If, depends on how much it rained over there. I already checked this rain gauge here and it showed an inch like a couple of minutes, quite, quite, a, quite a while ago. So I'm gonna check there again because it kept it raining. It's, uh, it's very spotty. It All of a sudden it, it doesn't, it completely stops raining. You can see the clouds and all of a sudden it just starts pouring again. And then it just, it's, it's crazy. It's very inconsistent, but got kind of a flash flood so it it definitely got very very wet here yep as you can tell there's clear, clear skies right yeah nope it, <laughs> this is that west texas weather for you it's very very inconsistent and all over the place inch and three tenths here at the barn i like it not time to see where how much it rained everywhere else let's go see there where i was planting corn Let's see how much it rained over there. I don't think it's gonna have rained as much over there as it did over here, but that's why, that's why I'm here to go check it out. And I'm pretty sure way out there, it uh, looks like maybe two miles out there, pretty sure that's where majority of the hail went because I can see the bottom layer of the ground and it's just steaming. There's just steam coming off of there and I'm assuming that's all the hail. So that's, it looks like that's the worst part of it. So I'm glad that we didn't get majority of it. It didn't look like this storm had that much hail in it as some of the previous ones. I've seen some, some videos of people that have literally like almost like half a foot to a foot of hail that got kind of like washed up in some places. So it was pretty bad. Looking here, there's quite a bit of water in the rows on the field. So it looks good. These peanuts are definitely not going to need any water for a while. That's for sure. I like it. Love to see it. Coming up to the next field. This is that uh, that no-till peanuts, or technically strip-till peanuts. Gonna see how much it rained over here. Pretty sure it didn't rain as much. Yep, no, nope, not quite as much. Looks like about seven tenths. Nice. That's gonna be perfect for these peanuts. I can tell you what, they're definitely gonna love it. We were just about to start this pivot up again today and start fertilizing. Uh, we're gonna give the peanuts a little bit of nitrogen right now. And we were a little bit concerned and needed some water pretty bad, but now with this rain, I might just turn on Monday. Then we don't have to deal with the fertilizer over the weekend because dealing, dealing with those pumps over the weekend, it's a big pain always having to check up on them at least two, two times a day minimum. But definitely didn't really hail here. I haven't seen any leaves yet on the ground, so peanuts will be fine. They're definitely, they took a beating from the wind and rain though, but eh, they're fine. Peanuts are resilient. They'll pretty much grow through anything. They can get completely destroyed with hail. Oh, there's one leaf. Oh, yep, yeah, no, we're screwed. <laughs> nah, just kidding. One, one leaf on the ground so far, not bad. Yeah, yeah, like I said, that, that hail that we witnessed there at the barn, I think that was the worst of it. And even that didn't look that bad. That looked fine. But so far we're good. I like seeing all this moisture. Man, I'm happy. It's the first good rain we've had all year. Man, I love it. I'm super excited. I'm super thankful. I love it. On to the next field. Yeah, so far it doesn't look like it rained as much over here. So honestly, I probably could even finish planting this maybe today or tomorrow. Might even might just wait till tomorrow, just let it dry out a little bit, and then just finish planting it tomorrow. Because that way I don't have to worry about any gauge wheels clogging up or anything like that. I'm gonna take a look here. My brother actually said, yeah, there was a rain gauge somewhere here where he said it only had four tenths in it. But I'm gonna go check another one further down the road and see how much is in that one. Yeah, this currently is our furthest west field. And there's, there's two tenths in there. That's all it is. It's 
it's good nonetheless but it's kind of hoping for a little more out here but it's fine i'm still happy with it the majority of our stuff got uh, i would say close to an inch so oh yeah i'm happy it's it's a good day might even call it an early day and just go home because what else you want to do the corn i'll probably just finish planting that tomorrow that'll be fine gonna find just to wait one day no that's not too big of a hurry so yeah this road here anytime it rains it, it turns into a washout no matter how how much we flatten it or anything but it, it's okay it doesn't it never gets it never gets too bad but you just got to kind of watch out a little bit i'm just gonna go here to this back field right here i want to check up on one field of cotton kind of curious how bad that one got and then I believe after that, I'm gonna call it it for today. I'm gonna go home and finally take a break for a while after being so busy. <laughs> it's been it's been hectic with all the, the hay and everything. So now we can finally start slowing down a little bit. I don't think the cotton got too much damage, but let me go here and take a look at it. Walking out to the field here and uh, you definitely see a couple of leaves that got lost, but I mean, they're still standing oh, there's actually a peanut plant right there you don't need to be there but you can tell that one lost it's one good leaf it has one left so i mean it's they got some damage but it doesn't look like it's that bad nice tracks full of water love it yeah you can tell some of them definitely got a little bit of damage there's another leaf on the ground there that one lost one good it's well they always have two leaves whenever they come up out of the ground so it lost the one this one looks like that one's half good they they might make it they they don't look like they're that bad they look like they did get a little bit of damage but nothing nothing severe nothing like i've seen i don't think we'll have to replant this it like i said it did get a little bit of damage but oh yeah we'll still be able to make a crop off of this this still looks fine oh yeah we're good all right well yeah no, it's it's a good rainy day i'm gonna call it it for a day i'm gonna i'm gonna see you guys in the next video y'all have a good one